in the previous video, we've looked at waves, the whole chapter about it. So here in chapter 8, we're going to look at a principle of superposition, which is asking the question, what happens when two waves meet? They wave at each other. Ah, they say hi. I know, no, no, but we do not talk about that here in physics. Here, we are going to talk about superposition. Now let's define that a little bit. When two waves of similar frequency meet, or I guess the more physics word that we can use here is superpose, means they overlap each other. Oh, overlap is another word. Sure, let's use the word. The resultant displacement is the sum of the individual displacement of each wave. So that's individual displacement. Okay, what does that mean? Let's look at some examples here when the wave comes together. Okay, mm, but first, let me give a, a reminder. From the previous chapter, we look at what is intensity. Okay, intensity I is proportional to amplitude squared. Okay, just a reminder because we will need to use that. Okay, wave one, let's create a story. Once upon a time, there was a wave A traveling in a certain direction and then it meets wave 2 which is also amplitude a okay so wave 1 plus wave 2 so when they come together they overlap what happens we have a what we call a resultant wave and that one is what amplitude a plus a equals to 2a very good okay so we put here 2a the mountain plus the mountain bigger mountain the same thing can also happen if it is upside down. So this is what we call a crest. Ooh, this is a very big highlighter. Or what we what if we have a tra? Trow? Actually, I don't know how to pronounce this. Tra. Okay, let's call this a tra. A negative a, the valley. Okay, what happens when a valley meets another valley? Negative a. What do we get? Valley plus valley, bigger valley, so even more negative. Two a. Okay, so these are two separate crests. Uh, two separate cases. What if it's a crest? What if it's a tra? But you still get the same effect. They add up, whether in the negative or in the positive. Now, what if mm, we want to consider their intensity, right? Since um, intensity is squared, as you can see here, we don't care whether they're negative or positive. They all have the intensity I. So for this case, we're just going to say they all have the same intensity I. Okay, and the other one also, intensity I. Now what happened? Do we add their intensity together? We do not. Ah. So don't say, oh, I plus I equals to 2I. No, this is not correct. We cannot add uh, intensity. We only add amplitude. Or rather, we add the individual displacement. We do not add intensity. Huh? So I'm going right here. Do not add the wave intensity in superposition. You can't just add it. We need a special way to add it. Okay, so how do we find the intensity? Uh, ratio is your best friend. Remember, intensity is proportional to amplitude. So a shortcut, which I personally like to use, is, okay, I look at the resultant wave here is, um, what is this here? 2 times amplitude. Okay, so I'm going to do proportional to amplitude squared. Now amplitude here is going to be 2 times, so I put a 2. And to balance that off, what should I write in this box? Let's see, 2 squared is 4. So if I have 2 times the amplitude, I have 4 times the intensity. So I'm going to write here, 4i. Okay, now if this method doesn't feel quite right with you, there are other methods. Okay, let me show you another method. How do you do ratio? How do you deal with ratios here? Okay, another method is, you see this relationship, i proportional to a? It also means that i over a square is constant. 
So, another method. Let's use a different color here. Let's use um, like the purple. Okay, so in the beginning, when I have intensity I, I have amplitude A. That's what I know. Lah. So, I'm going to write I over A squared. Now, on the other hand, when I have a bigger amplitude, 2A, what will be my new intensity? I'm going to write here 2A squared. So I rearrange this and I get the new intensity. That should be, see the A cancel out, 4I. So the new intensity is 4 times of the original. Okay, that's how we get to this conclusion. Alright, okay, let's do a few more cases. Um, wow, what if they cancel out? Okay, these two cases, the waves add. They become a larger amplitude. So larger displacement or larger amplitude, I suppose. Here, since we're adding amplitude. What if they cancel out? Ah, so a case of that would be, maybe I have a crest incoming. So here we have a crest, let's say some positive amplitude. And then on the other hand, we have a negative amplitude. And these two waves add together. Then what will happen? You will not have any wave. They cancel out. What is 1 plus negative 1? 0. So now flat. 0. No, just right here, 0. No amplitude. They cancel out. So there's, there will be different names for this as we go along, but here I'm just going to say they cancel out, so-called. Keep this in mind. Okay, next, later we'll have other names. Uh, here let's put a name for this. You can also do this for compression and rarefaction. It's a bit harder to draw, but you roughly there. Okay, let's fill in the uh, intensity here. So first wave intensity is I. Second wave intensity also I, because don't care about the sign. I plus I here, in the end you get zero. Ooh, that's so weird, right? I plus I is zero. What kind of maths is this? Remember, we do not add intensity. What are we adding here? Amplitude or displacement only. Okay, so I highlight this. Okay, so here zero intensity, no, not, no wave, nothing. Zero. Mm, zero. Next, hmm, so far we have looked at cases where the wave have the same amplitude. Now, what if I change this, I reduce the, the wave of the second one, let's say. Okay, so here's a case where one wave in uh, amplitude is reduced. Okay, so maybe the first one, let's do, instead of A, let's go, hmm, let's go to half A, or 0 0.5, okay, let's do 0 0.5. And then I add the normal one. Okay, this will just be A, as usual. What do we get? Do we still get 2A up here? No, we don't get 2A anymore. Cannot. Okay, so we'll get 1.5a. That's an example. Now, when you're adding crests, there you don't really see much of a difference. What you would see though is when you have them cancel out a crest plus a trial. Let's try it out. Okay, um, I'm going to fit here in the same. Maybe here, let's do... 0.5a, okay, plus, let's try to get them to cancel out, see whether they can cancel out, let's turn this upside down, so negative a, and then we get, oh, can they cancel out perfectly, I don't think they can though, so we get a resultant small little wave, which is about negative 0.5, so I can't get this nice zero cancellation because here is A minus A. Great, cancel out. Here is 0 0.5 and 1A. So this is what we call a 
unofficially, here's what we call imperfect, cannot, they cannot perfectly cancel each other out. This is important later because some past questions will ask you about it. Imperfect cancellation. And for the first case, it's not as big as amplitude. Okay, what if you increase the amplitude of one of the waves? Ah. Or oh, actually, let's do a plot twist with intensity. One wave intensity increase. So you got to be careful what we're asking here. Just now, we said the amplitude was reduced. That's why I did a 0 0.5. But here, we say the intensity is increased or reduced. Whichever one you want to say. So how do we deal with this? Oh boy. Okay, we got to think of intensity. Let's rewind a little bit to intensity. Here, let's say intensity I means you get the amplitude A. Okay. We, we choose that number, lah, all right? Um, let's complete out all the intensity numbers here. So, half of the amplitude, what I would that be? Oh, do a quick ratio. Do a quick ratio, do a quick ratio. I proportional to amplitude squared. Okay. If we have half the amplitude, then what should fit on this side would be 1 over 2 square so one fourth of the intensity so here i'm gonna write one fourth intensity wow okay what about a resultant 1.5 okay let's do a 1.5 do another one quick calculation here so we have 1.5 times amplitude so on this side should be 1.5 square whatever the number is okay time to press calculator uh, calculator says it should be about a little bit more intensity, so 2.25 times of this original intensity. Oh, yo, these numbers are getting weird. Okay, here, let's do a plot twist to work backwards. One wave intensity is increased. Okay, means I have some wave with intensity I. Let's just, uh, let's just do this. A. Intensity increased. I don't know how much is this A. Mm. But I do know this one is 2. Let's say double. Lah. Okay, let's do doubled. Mm. And then we have final wave that we need to find. I also don't know. Is it positive negative? I don't know. Don't know. I don't know. So how to start? Okay. We gotta work backwards now. Now we know the intensity is uh, increased, or maybe specifically we say doubled. This one is doubled. Okay, so let's step step one. Let's find the uh, amplitude. I'm gonna use a different color. So this amplitude here will be oh, how to find uh? We stay calm and we ratio. Ratio is your best friend. So I proportional to amplitude. I don't know what amplitude that is, but it's okay. I do know that. The new intensity here is 2i, so this should be 2 of a square. But that's not 2 times the amplitude. Uh. Don't write 2a here. No, no, no. We need to put it inside the bracket. So, the a here, the square, what should go in here would be actually root 2. Okay, so that when you... When you do root 2 square, you get 2. Okay? So you put it outside the bracket. So actually, what the amplitude here is 2a with a square root. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to pause here for a moment. Say, Miss, I do not know how to use this method anymore. Okay, never mind. I'll show you another method. We go back, remember, just now, way back in the beginning of the video, there's always method 2, right? So if you see like, mm, my brains are melting, I'm not very sure what is happening. Let's stay calm. Okay, let's do the ratio. So intensity, intensity over A squared, that's our original wave 1. Okay, so I'll just label this wave 1. Then you have wave 2, which has 
two times the intensity and some new amplitude which I have no idea what that is. That's what we want to find. So you rearrange this, you have the new amplitude. Okay, this wave two, huh? Uh oh man, what's the new wave? Okay, you can do some rearranging here. Um this will be two i over i times a square. Okay, next step. The i and i cancel out, so we have two a square. And to find my new amplitude, I need to take the square root. So I get root 2a. Hey, Ta-da! Okay, so there's two few methods to do your ratio. Whichever method goes, whether you want to use a shortcut or you want to do the slightly longer method, it works, it works. Okay, we're almost there. We need to complete this diagram. So now when we add, what do we add? Amplitudes, okay? So we're going to add the amplitude. Uh, 1a plus root 2. Oh my goodness, what is that? Press calculator. Huh? This will be 2.4, the amplitude. And what is the intensity? Let's calculate it again. Okay, let's calculate. Intensity here is amplitude square. So, if I have this weird... What is this? 2.4. Let's just do 1 plus root 2 of amplitude square. So my new intensity will be 1 plus root 2i square. So 1 plus root 2i. Okay, let's find the square. 1 plus root 2 square oh wow that's very weird numbers getting here it's okay we stay calm and we continue okay so the final intensity here is 5.8 i should keep more decimal places right it's okay never mind this is a practice 5.8 i for this intensity and i think we've completed the table okay so this is your ratio practice remember you are adding number one you are adding sum of displacement or amplitudes you are not adding intensity you have to always go back to the ratio if they involve intensity in the question okay so that's the introduction to adding waves next we'll look at some case studies of different ways where waves can add okay so i'll see you in the next video